Hello everybody, this is Danilo Cuellar from PeacefulAnarchism.com out here in the magnificent nature once again. The soul would have no rainbow if the eyes had no tears. Native American proverb. We all experience misfortune, tragedy, loss, pain, suffering. But we must not let it dominate us or control us. And we must not feel that we are alone. We are all fallible. We're all imperfect. We're all human beings. We all feel pain, but we can all heal. And we must never forget that we have our close loved ones and family members that are willing to help us in times of need and want and privation. I believe most people do not wish to see their fellow brothers and sisters suffer. I believe human beings are at their core magnanimous, kind-hearted, generous. How a person behaves when no one is looking is very crucial in determining a person's true essence. Not when there are cameras and there are reporters and people are taking pictures. No. How people behave when they cannot be thanked. When the good deed cannot be appreciated or recognized when the person who's receiving the goodness cannot reciprocate because the goodness was done anonymously random act of kindness I see this every day all over I see people helping other people for no other reason but to help no expectation of reciprocation. Complete strangers that you pass by on the street still willing to help out a person in need. The existence of charities and agencies to donate is testament to the essence, the kind-hearted and generous essence of most people. So we all want to help, we all strive to lend a helping hand. Nobody wants to see another person suffer. And so therefore we should not feel alone when we do suffer. And it is in suffering that beauty is made. This is true. Sometimes out of those times of hardship and tribulation, things of magnificent beauty emerge. The most wondrous rock formations in the desert have formed from the most vicious sandstorms. The most beautiful caves and canyons have been etched into the landscape by the piecemeal flow of water. It is through suffering and hardship that we can achieve great things 
What businessman ever attained his success easily? What chess master ever achieved his high ranking with ease? No. When you see another person who is successful, who is skilled, who is competent in his field, in his craft, you should not believe or you should not feel envious or jealous of him because this was not an accident. This was quite intentional. I believe it was Aristotle that said, success is a habit, not a coincidence. It is the enactment of intentional ways of behaving that produce prosperity and wealth. They don't fall into people's laps. So even though we may suffer in our lives, we may hurt, we may feel pain, we may have loss. In these moments when we drift down into the abyss, occasionally we can pick up a little glimmer of hope. We can remove, we can extract a pebble of beauty and like an oyster take that irritation of a grain of sand and form it into magnificent beauty known as a pearl. We must approach hard work and tribulation with respect. It is the great teacher. It is how we learn and understand our most enduring lessons of life. It must not be shirked away and avoided, but embraced ever more vigorously. It is the greatest teacher. It is the first teacher. So please, I urge you all to not shy away from hardship, to not shy away from pain, from that which seems impossible. For every single deed or act or achievement that has been done was at one point deemed impossible by contemporaries of the person who proved them wrong. You will always have detractors, you will always have critics, but you should never let them dictate the limits of your potential. Always continue to strive for greatness. Shoot for the moon, for even if you miss, you will land amongst the stars. Thank you all for listening. This is Danilo Cuellar from PeacefulAnarchism.com. Enjoy the magnificent beauty.